Hi, and welcome to Hi-Fi Corner. My name is Joe, and today I'm here with our MD, Strewn McKenzie. Before we get into what we have sitting right between us, we would just like to thank our sponsor, Absolute Sounds, for providing us with this video. Uh, so thank you very much, Absolute Sounds. So what we have here is the Western Electric 91E integrated amplifier driven by 300B Western Electric valves. It is indeed. Yeah. And, and, and Western Electric is, is a company with a pretty incredible past, right? Yeah. So they started back in about 1869, 1870, somewhere in there, um, developing things for apparently, you know, with the onslaught of electricity. And they were based out of New York, if my memory serves me correct. Then in the 1900s, in about 1938, they were uh, they actually created the 300B valve that we see here in the uh, in this amplifier, and that was really uh, first developed, from my understanding, to help boost the signals of telephone um, signals. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. so the the history predates hi-fi and audio. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And and the brand and, does and. Actually, um, they did a lot with the Bell. I was reading a little bit about the history yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but with the uh, Bell Corporation, which became AT and T, yeah. uh, and the Bell Company was named obviously after Alexander Graham Bell, who was uh, a Scotsman. Uh, so you have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, he's actually you can go check out his house where he grew up <laughs> here in Edinburgh. Um, and so you have a bit of, I guess, uh, a little bit of American history and a little bit of Scottish little bit of, history, little bit of kind both. of going into this uh, amplifier. <laughs> um, in the 1990s, an entrepreneur took over Western Electric, which was basically became almost non-existent, and he bought all the rights to the 300B tube and all the rights to what Western Electric had uh, patent. And he kind of reamped it. And we see now in the market, many, many uh, tube amps that are based off the 300B. Um, they, they have gone in and they have finely tuned their new, 300, their new 300Bs that are used in this. They have done a lot for the audio industry, kind of, they, they have done so much but not many people talk about them anymore. Yeah, know? so to rewind a little bit, yeah. Western Electric, this is not just a normal 300B amp. No, no, it's not. Western Electric are the company that invented the 300B. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like I said, in 1938, to help boost uh, telephone signals. Yeah. So it's a, it's a powerful tube. Yeah. Um, is it the most powerful tube out there? No. I mean, you're not going to get as much... Uh, wattage out of each tube as you would say a KT150, KT120, even a KT88 I don't think would produce as much. But Western Electric, and we'll get into this in a little bit, but they've designed this in such a way because they know the intricacies of this 300B tube so well to get kind of the maximum amount of power out of it without running it too hard. So it, it, you're not going to have a expectancy, life expectancy drop in it. So they've done an extremely good job in designing this amplifier around the 300B. So it's a 300B amplifier yep. from the founders of the 300B. Yeah. Uh, most other things out there, well, we won't say that they're How many times but... can we say 300B in this video? <laughs> we can Start get... counting people at YouTube. <laughs> I think we can get a few more in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So this 300B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so the three hundred B. So, what they've done. I mean, if if you can see here, uh, we have it on. You have some VU meters. When yeah. you start it up, it's it's quite cool. They have they have the fly, the old Western Electric Flyboy logo come up, which in my opinion looks pretty cool. And then it goes into a warm up, and then it goes into an auto biasing. Now that auto biasing works with the three hundred B valve so every time you turn this on it's auto biasing it to make sure that the 300 b's are at their optimal level right. and it's not some cathode biasing or anything like that it's all done through you know a high tech devices uh, you know my my technological talk is is rubbish but it's done through pcm boards and stuff like that and capacity whatever it's just a highly intelligent um, auto biasing. 
So I think right. that's how they are able to extend the tube, the life of the tube. Because this, this unlike some other 300B amps, this only has one tube per channel. Yeah, yeah. So how much power are they actually getting out of one tube? Well, it's stated at about 20 watts with 10% distortion. Now, that sounds like a high amount of distortion. Now, you got to remember when you're talking about valves and when you're talking about solid state, distortion is a totally different ball game. Yeah. Valves naturally make sound. They naturally have uh, a lot more distortion than a solid state. And it's much more natural to the human ear. Yeah. Uh, while solid state, it's gonna, you're going to notice when you get distortion in solid state. I mean, I know you've come across it and you're yeah. like, who? All right. Okay. That's not good. But when you're listening to a valve amplifier, it almost becomes part of the sound of the amplifier and it's much more natural to the human ear. Yeah. You know, it's not the same as like a class AB amplifier, for instance, when that yeah. distorts. Yeah. It's really aggressive and quite unpleasant. Yeah. It's, it's very different from, yeah. a, from so, a valve amp. And Western Electric claim at about 20 watts. Is that true? Now, yes and no. I, I, I'm not, again, I'm not a technician. I'm not, we don't have the equipment here to actually test the outputage. So we have to believe Western Electric and say, and 20 watts is a hell of a lot of wattage yeah. out of one 300B and without them deteriorating the life of the tube. Yeah. That's, that, that itself yeah. is a feat. Yeah. Um, even if you like the look or sound of this or you don't, to be able to do that, Western Electric have done something that nobody else has done in my opinion yeah. in that regard. Yeah. So there are certain people who are going to look at this and they're going to love the look of it. Yeah. Me being one of them. <laughs> There's some people who are going to look at this and go, oh, no, I'm not going to have that mouth. So it's quite yeah, divisive yeah. in terms of its... Yeah, of course. And of it's course, it's a statement. It. It's a, yeah. It really is Western Electric coming out and saying, listen, this is here. This is what we can do with the 300B. Love it or leave it. Yeah. And most people, I think, will love it. But it's, again, just like everything, just like the sound of hi-fi, the aesthetics of hi-fi are all personal. Yeah. You know, I love it because you get to see nice big tubes glowing and yeah. that to me, because I, that's what I use. I use tubes at home. So that's, that's what the sound I like. And that's kind of the aesthetics I like to look at. But most of these things that, that maybe appear aesthetic are actually yeah. very functional. So for instance, yeah. we've got the, um, the transformer tap. Now, now this is something really cool that Western Electric decided to do. Now, again, my technical like language is not the greatest, but what, what you got here is you got different taps. So this is the 8 ohm transformer tap right here. Mm -hmm. Now, usually classic, you would have multiple taps on the back for your speakers. Yeah, that's what I'm used to but, seeing, like yeah. numerous taps in the back and you've but got you to- But you don't get that with this. What you get is you get your two normal right and left taps for your speakers. But if you have a four ohm load speaker or a 16 ohm load speaker or something in between and you want to try out different taps, so it comes already equipped with this with this transformer block. If you have a forum, you just call up your Western Electric dealer, call us up, say, Joe Struan, I have some forum speakers and I would like to get a new tap. They're right now in today's market, they're about a thousand pounds. And it you basically remove this whole thing, well, remove what's inside of it, and then you put in your forum tap. And it's easy done. Right. It's it comes with the tool that's necessary for it. It's, it's done with, with easy to access plugs. It's not, nobody, you just got to make sure you turn it off, let it sit for a little while because yeah. you are messing with the transformers and definitely unplug it from the wall. Yeah. You know? So you, when you order the amplifier, mm -hmm. you can have it with a four, eight or 16 on tap. When it, it, from my understanding, it comes already automatically with the eight ohm tap. And you have to order the four other ohm tap or the tap, 16, 16 ohm, ohm tap. tap. Okay, fine. Okay. But for most people, the eight ohm is going to be for most, most speakers out there are eight ohm. Yeah. You can have some eccentric speakers that are yeah. either drop down to four or 16 ohm or whatever, or somewhere in between. Yeah. But eight ohm is generally speaking is what, what most people will use. Yeah. Cause we've tried this on a range of speakers in the shop. Yeah. We've tried it with some Franco Serblins. Yep. We've tried it with some Klipsch horn speakers. Yep. We've tried it with some Care Acoustics transmission line speakers. Yep. We've tried it with some ATC sealed speakers. Yep. And we've tried it with some Spender ported speakers. So we've tried it with a whole bunch of different yeah. things, right? Yeah. And actually it's not particularly struggled. Now there's some of those it sounded 
better with as a combination yeah. than some of the others. No, that goes into come kind of something that everybody who's into hi-fi or you're just getting into hi-fi, you should know that matching a system, building a system from the ground up or transforming your current system is something that we throw this term around a lot, synergy. Yeah. yeah. You know, every system needs synergy. And this is no different than anything else. It's yeah. not going to sound perfect with every speaker out there, but it's going to sound perfect to each individual listener as you as you mix and match to get that synergy right. Yeah. So, and it, I mean, it drove all those speakers though. Yeah. And that's the like the S, the ATC SCM forties are not an easy load. No. And for a three hundred B to be able to drive that now, were we getting massive volumes out of it? No, of course not. But they're, they are a very power hungry speaker to begin with. And for to get any quality out of that, that says a lot for the three for for the 91E integrated amplifier by Western Electric. Yeah, totally, totally. So it's maybe an amplifier that's not for everybody. There's going to be two types of people watching this. I think that's true for everything, though. Absolutely, there. yeah. absolutely. There's going to be people that love 300 Bs and what yeah. they sound like. 300 B was said again yep. and again. <laughs> yeah. 300 Bs all over the place, man. Yeah. So if they if they know what a single ended triode yeah. is with 300 B, they're going to want to hear this. Yeah. And if someone doesn't really know, like they're like, oh, I don't really understand this class A B amp, class A amps, class D amps, class G amps. What do I do? Yeah. What would you advise them to do? The best thing to do is find your local retailer. Come see us. Come, we have a, an array of speakers. We have an array of amplifiers. We have so much here that we can suit almost any ear. And that really truly is the only way to understand what sound works best for you. You can't, you can read as many reviews, you can watch as many of these videos as you like, but really each one of our ears are all unique. So if they were all the same, our job would be very boring, Struan. We'd yeah. have one amplifier, well, yeah. one set of speakers, yeah. one source, yeah. and that would be it. Uh, but we see thousands of amplifiers out there, thousands of different speakers, thousands of different you know, sources, and it's because everybody's ears are unique and their rooms are unique. So they may have issues with their acoustics within their rooms and we can deal with that. But anyways, the best way to really see if the Western Electric 91E is right for you is to come down and have a listen here at the shop. You know, um, before we go into the sound of it, I would like to say Western Electric really thought ahead. As you can see, this is a shipping container within it. Yeah, it's um, they've done they've done a lot of uh, kind of what are what are people who are going to own this need to ensure it has its right maintenance. So mm -hmm. you get all the tools that are necessary to remove the grates, to get the tubes in and out. You can remove these glass tubes, but it's not recommended because these do these become are, hot. These, these are glass, right? Yeah, they decided not... against using acrylic because basically over time they can discolor with the heat, they can discolor. Yeah. So they've used a nice glass here. I'm, I mean, this has been on, I'm feeling it. It's, it's, it's warm, it's warm, but it's not gonna burn like a child or anything like that, yeah. you know? And that's, that's the worry really is to keep it away from you know, pets and small kids. And, but again, you know, if you don't have any and pets or small kids, you we can played, actually remove it. We played this yesterday for about two or three hours. Yeah. And it didn't actually get... No, it doesn't. It doesn't get really warm. Really warm. It's, 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 it's not... It, and that, again, I think comes down to the auto biasing that Western Electric created right. for this amplifier, making sure that these tubes are not being overdriven, so on and so forth. Yeah. You know, um, but it comes like even with like pin straighteners for the... For the Wii, 12 AU7s, I believe those are 12, no, those are EE, the ECC 80, 81s. So if those, for some reason, in transit, the pins get a little bent, you got a pin straightener. Like, even things like that, they've thought ahead. But they've thought, they've thought one thing that I wouldn't expect from a valve amplifier company, yeah. which is this little button here. That's your Bluetooth? Bluetooth. Is that, is that the one you're pulling? <laughs> yeah, 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 the yeah. Bluetooth. So I think, you know, and I've, I've done some reading on it, and I've kind of, because we all... Or like, why would you put Bluetooth into a really high a 300, end, yeah. high end 300B amplifier? And I think it's for people, the audiophiles better halves. Yeah. You know, the people that are living with audiophiles like us, our partners, 
you know, that my, for example, my wife, if she was listening to something on her iPad or her phone, she would be able to just simply Bluetooth it to this amplifier and get it through yeah. without much hassle. So I think it's more of a convenience yeah. than it is as a, oh, this is going to be a critical listening stage. And it's quite nice because yeah. at Western Electric, it's it's almost like a, custry, a, a company that predates audio yeah. in many ways and predates hi-fi, certainly. Yeah. And they've put a really, really modern feature on it with Bluetooth. It's kind of like yeah. old meets new in a really nice way, almost yeah. like... American meets 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 Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it can be. <laughs> that regards. A match, a match made in heaven. A match made say. in heaven. Match made in heaven. Indeed, mate. Indeed. Like, sound. How does yeah, this, how does this how thing does it sound? sound? So it is a three hundred B amplifier. End of. There, there's no getting around that. So you have this very nice top end. You have this lovely mid range. But what you don't get from most 300B amplifiers that you get from this is a bottom end grunt. Yeah, I know it's that and, and it's a slightly different presentation than a classic 300B amplifier where you have this kind of lush mid-range and this lush top end and this kind of uh, woolly bottom end, yeah. so to say. Yeah. What Western Electric have done is they've created a modern sounding amplifier yep. with the 300B tube. So you get this very clean sound with this bottom end grunt that you just wouldn't expect from not only a 300B valve amplifier, but also any valve amplifier in that regards. Right. So it's it's just, it's, it's a very unique sound. It's a lovely sound, um, again, Come and have a listen. That's the best way to decide if the three, if the ninety-one E integrated amplifier is the right amplifier for you. So, if you're interested in this, or if you're interested in comparing a three hundred B, three hundred B set again, yeah. <laughs> to any other type of amplifier, yeah. uh, how would somebody go about that? Just either give us a call here at the shop, or email in, um, and we can make sure we arrange it in that regards. You know, I mean, we can. We can compare so many different things here at the shop, you know, like, for example, we have some awesome Dan D'Agostino, some more American products. We have, you, you know, <laughs> so you got Dan D'Agostino products here at the shop. Um, so you can listen to a versus a solid state. Yeah. You know, yep. you can listen to like Prima Luna. Yeah. So that's a push pull design. Right. And valves yep. using generally the uh, 34, uh, EL34 tubes. Yeah. So we have the whole range of Prima Luna. We have most of the range of all Dag D'Agostino. We, you know, you can have a listen to these amplifiers to see what sounds best for you, yeah. you know? And, and that's, again, Strun, I can't stress it enough. And I know, of course, you being our MD, you can't stress it enough, but it's the best and only way to decide what's the right pro products for you is to have a listen. Yeah. You know, we also do offer home demonstrations yep. for our customers. So that's another option for people, you know, um, just give us a call really is just call us up and see what we can do for you yeah. because we, we, we really go out of our way to yeah. help our customers, don't we? We do. Yeah. And, we, and, and we've put a great effort into this shop into having, we've got five demonstration rooms. Yep. We've probably got 30 pairs of loudspeakers people can test oh, and least, compare. Oh, at least, at yeah. least. And then we've got amplifiers from all different types, all the way from this to, to more traditional class yep. AB amplifiers, everything in between. So there's yeah. probably a range of product here Definitely. that you would not find anywhere else. We've put a great effort into that. We're yeah. really passionate about that. And um, this is just another another unique piece to our collection. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, it really is. And I'm happy to have it here at the shop. Um, I think it's going to be one of those ones where once you hear it, you're going to, you're going to love it. Yeah. You know, it's just one of those ones you have to come and listen to. Yeah. It, it definitely is worth, worth the trip to Edinburgh. I mean, Edinburgh is a great city. We're here by the seaside. So come on. Yep. What, what, what more can you ask for? Maybe some more sun. <laughs> Maybe some more sun here in Scotland. No, but. It's not good for the pale skin, uh, yeah, Joe. Yeah, it's not yeah, good yeah, for the pale yeah. skin. <laughs> okay. And the ginger hair. Yeah, yeah. Fair, <laughs> fair game. Fair game. Great. Fair game. So uh, if somebody wants to listen to this, how should they get in contact with you? You can email me, joe at hi-fi corner. That's J-O-E at hi-fi corner dot co dot U-K. Or give us a call here at the shop at 0131-556-7901. Come in. 
and hear some American speak about an American product. That's the way to do it. <laughs> That's us with the Western Electric. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, literally, we can't speak highly enough about this. Come and have a listen. Again, thanks for watching. And remember, enjoy your music and take care of yourselves. Thank you.